Good day everyone, it's David here from RF Shop. Uh, in this video I just really want to answer a quick basic question but it's actually coming up a lot and I just really want to say it once and um, hopefully it, it makes it clear. So the question is, does my antenna, my new external antenna need power? Do I need to um, yeah, have another power supply somewhere or anything? And the simple answer is no. Nah. Don't. It's, it doesn't need extra power. So if you have a modem, and I'm going to just use my Teltonica here as, a, as an example. So this is the, um, the same trusty unit. You can see it already has a bit of um, life to it, <laughs> all the scratch marks. It's the same one I always use when I go out and do my tests like I did in um, Rapid Bay, Port Lincoln, even in the office. So this is the basic modem that you would get, the router. So it would be um, the same for any other um, brand as well but um, of course with the Teltonica it's quite easy to show and then they work just um, you know, phenomenal. Um, so you have a Teltonica router, you have its own power supply, um, could be any other type of power supply. So the point is not what powers it up, it is it has a power supply, that's where the power goes in. It's the same if you have a, a Night Talk, if you have a Huawei B818, if you have other brands of the, um, the better quality and so forth. Power supply comes into the router. Now the router in this case with the Teltonica, it's awesome to show, um, it has two antennas there, right? This is the two mobile 4G antennas and there's also a Wi-Fi antenna in this case. If you were to connect, like say the um, x 2 antenna that I have here and I say, okay, I want to replace my antennas, all you do is you take the two antennas that come with the device, um, you take the valve, So now you have a modem without antennas, it's just two SMA connectors and this cable that comes out of the external antenna, whichever way, could be longer cables, could be different types of cables, which is something we can help you with. So if you want longer cable runs and all that kind of stuff, we just change the cable and um, we um, make that work. But at the end of the day, you have an antenna, two SMA connectors, there's the camera there, they would plug in. No power, nothing else, just the power that comes into the router. That's it. That's it. Now you have the same router, the cable goes into the antenna. It's just basically a matter of putting the antenna, a better version of the normal antennas that you have with the unit itself. You get a better version of the antenna and you put it in a position where it is even better. That's really all it is. That's how simple it is. And so for any type of scenario you, where you would come to a place like RF Shop and say, I have a night talk, I have a B818 and I want to put an external antenna on there. What you would do is get those ports that's relevant. Voice crack. Um, you would have those ports and you plug an uh, antenna port in whichever way, TS9 adapters or something into that. That's all you do. I can keep talking on about this, but this is really as simple as it is. So I just want to keep the video as short as possible, which I'm failing and badly. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. So if you have any other questions that are, if you feel this is a stupid question, never is a stupid question. And there's probably a lot of people who have the same question as well. They want to get answered. Um, so happy to help, happy to just run through these type of scenarios and quickly explain it rather than um, having to explain it on the phone and, and on email time and again. So there you go. This is the example of how it works, how awesome it could work. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our website, on email. Um, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching and see you again soon. Cheers, bye-bye.